A major union is calling on the federal government to solve the housing crisis by introducing a super profits tax which could help fund the construction of new of uh, social housing. The CFMEU is launching a national campaign ahead of a press club speech today. We can fix the housing crisis with a super profits tax, which will build 53,000 social and affordable homes each year. Unless things change, what does the future look like for our kids? Joining us live now, the CFMU National Secretary, Zach Smith. Zach, uh, thanks for your time. So you've commissioned a report on the super profits tax. What has it revealed to you? Yeah, good morning, Peter. Um, today we're launching our campaign, um, End the Housing Crisis Tax uh, Super Profits. And what's underpinning uh, this campaign launch is economic research that our union has commissioned through Oxford Economics Australia. And it tells us uh, a number of things. Firstly, as we sit here today, the current deficit or the current shortfall uh, in social and affordable housing in this country is 700 and 50,000 homes. Um, and over the next 18 years, out till 2041, that's only going to increase to just short of 950,000 homes. And that's even when you take into account the proposed expenditure from the Housing Australia Future Fund and all the other state and territory government initiatives that we're currently seeing or that are currently have been committed to in this space. So we do have a national crisis um, to put a roof over every Australian citizen's head. And the cost or the price tag um, to fix this problem is $511 billion. And so the obvious question is, is how do we fund this shortfall? How do we ensure that every Australian has a home, um, which is a basic right of any citizen? Um, and the answer that we've come to, which causes the minimal amount of harm, is a super profits tax. And what this economic modelling also shows is that a super profits tax is more than capable of raising the money needed to close okay. that gap by 2041. What would the tax be? So the, the, the report uh, models a tax um, which basically um, has a starting point of um, shareholder equity multiplied by 5% um, with the long-term bond rate added and then anything over that is deemed as being excess. That's to ensure that um, companies can still make reasonable uh, returns to shareholders and then that excess amount would be taxed at the rate right. of 40%. Well, that was the point I was going to put to you. Shouldn't the focus of super funds be returns to its members? Well, no, when we talk about a, a super profits tax, we're talking about a tax on companies um, that make super profits. Now, what this economic research also shows, what our research shows, is that... Ah, right, so this is away from super funds. Away from super funds. Yes, that's right. It's away right, from okay. super funds. So, so big business. Uh, it's point three. Of, yeah, big business, right? But not just the mining companies, which historically have been the ones that have been spoken about when we talk about taxes of this nature. We're talking about a permanent economy-wide tax, um, which would impact on, you know, only 0.3% of Australian businesses, or about 3,000 is what our research right, okay. shows. So, I mean, uh, the government's going to have some tricky tricky uh, times dealing with this. The government's already said it's focused on multinational tax, it's focused on changes to super mm. balances over 3 million, increases to the resource rent tax as well. So you're off the table for now. Do you expect this to get anywhere? Look, we're in this, we're in this fight for the long term, uh, Peter. This is a national crisis. I, I get around all around this country talking to workers. Um, uh, talking to our members, this is the, the number one issue. Housing um, is by far and away uh, at the forefront of ordinary Australians' minds. And, yes, um, there'll be those in the business community and in the commentariat who will take exception at this plan, and it's going to ruffle some feathers. But the current status quo isn't sustainable either. We can't keep saying to ordinary Australians, well, you have to bear the bunt, brunt of this inflationary crisis. You have to bear the brunt of higher interest rates, but right. um, super profits are off the table. Corporate profits are off the table. We can't have okay. that situation well, just, continue. Just while we're on it, why not go after the super funds? Well, you know, the super funds hold in trust, um, um, you know, retirement savings for all of Australians. Yeah. Um, if, they, if they're, you know, eligible... And also contributions to the unions. 
<laughs> I think that's greatly, greatly <laughs> overinflated. Um, <laughs> I think um, you might find that those Bad. people that, that make those comments are the same people trying to undermine the whole uh, premise of industry super and uh, workers having a decent retirement uh, saving. Zach, we're out of time. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, Zach Smith, you've got a speech later but, on at the press club too.